let's see why did primates come into the scene at first place why did they come okay so there is a theory by eliot smith and clark mammals mammals are insectivorous in nature mammals are insectivorous that means they eat insect they are insectivorous in nature and when they have adapted to the arboreal lifestyle that means when they started moving to the trees when they are living on the trees the vision is very important okay for food if they have to identify something the vision becomes very important and from their smell the vision has increased and smell has decreased on the trees so vision has increased because of that the features of primates started appearing okay from there features of primates started appearing and that is how primates tend to appear okay next visual predation theory by cartmill okay so now there is criticism to this theory this is given by cartmill mad cartmill okay this person has said that then squirrel squirrel is also living it's also a mammal it is also living on the trees but it doesn't have primate like structure so whatever you are saying may not be true so this theory has been opposed by cartmill and it he has given visual predation theory visual predation theory what he says that vision is the fundamental adaptive feature of the primates at the same time he tries to say that vision is very important because primates are no, initial primates okay so initial mammals were nocturnal in nature vision is very important okay very important fundamental adaptive feature of the primates he is saying that he is emphasizing about the vision he says that they were nocturnal in nature so at night if they want to identify something under the bushes okay he is not talking about arboreal adaptation so he is just talking about predation through the vision okay so when they live under the green uh, green fleshy bushes okay the green fleshy bushes so in the forest if they have to hunt for the insects so he also says that primates are insectivorous in nature so mammals that were there in the initial stages were insectivorous in nature so in order to hunt or predate so they had so they need a better vision and that was become as a part of predation necessity so in order to find the prey and attack it for that purpose the vision has come and from there the other features of primates has developed okay this is the origin of primates by cartmill and dietary shift theory by friedrich okay so dietary shift theory by friedrich he says that mammals in the initial stage okay mammals in the initial stage were not insectivorous in nature rather they used to depend upon the diet of plants okay and vegetation and because of that shift in the diet because of the shift in the diet from the insects to the plants and fruits okay so plants and fruits that were available plants and roots that were there has led to the features of primates that was the view of friedrich 
and there is one more view with respect to origin of primates that is Sussman's theory which is known as nocturnal adaptation theory. He says that what Cartmill has said is true. The vision was very important because they were noct nocturnal in nature. Okay, so the mammals were nocturnal and the vision was very important. At the same time, he has his own angiosperm based theory. Okay, his own angiosperm based theory. He said that the shift to the newer diet patterns, which has been discussed by Friedrich, is also true. So he has combined these two and he has talked about the nocturnal adaptation theory. These are the some of the theories which talks about the origin of primates. So first is arboreal theory, it says that see they were insectivorous in nature and if you have to hunt when they have adapted to the arboreal features you need proper vision. So vision is one of the important feature of primates okay from there the stereoscopic vision has developed and from there the other changes have occurred and that is the origin according to what do you say Clark and the Eloyd Smith okay so according to them and next visual predation what does uh, the cartmill say cartmills countered arboreal theory by telling about the squirrel but here he says that okay see what you are saying is true they are insectivorous but they were not living on the trees they were living under the bushes so they were living living in the forest on the ground itself so in order to hunt in order to find the food for them for the predation purposes so for that they need to identify in this green lushy bushes okay so in the green lushy bushes you can't identify the hunt so you need to have a proper vision from there the primates have origin originated and then the dietary shift and the combination of nocturnal and diet by Sussman okay so Sussman's theory is most uh, accepted currently okay. this is with respect to origin of primates